my name is Victoria. Um, I live on this farm um, with my fiance Jordan, Dan Kochik, with my two stepsons Rylan and Josh, and my daughter Violet and my two sisters. And uh, it was a cow farm first, so we had everything set up for cattle. And we decided very spontaneously to get into goats. So now we have about 200 mamas and 200 babies. That was one of those uh, few items that I really was strict on uh, Jordan to get. Because he says, oh, we don't need the scale. It's this, this, no, we don't need it. It's not necessary. When do you ever need to weigh an animal? But I was like, no, my parents growing up with those sheep, we, I know that we need a scale. And we never regretted the buy. Because um, you kind of really always want to check up on your flock. When you're, um, you, you weigh them at 50 days or 100 days, you kind of know if they, they need better feed or if something's up or if you're going good. And when you're selling them, you need a scale, always. I, I really like it. I, the, I like that, that you can stand in the back. You can open up the gate right from the back. You can let them out. You don't have to walk in front and latch it open. Um, the back latch closes really well too, so they don't back up and open the gate. Um, the scale part of it, we got the not the digital one because it was cheaper the lever kind of bounces up and down but that's all you just wait and you get your pretty good weight like that because they'll go in the front and they'll go in the back and they'll go in the front and that's how you don't get a good uh, weight but you just kind of wait for it and you get your you get pretty good at seeing when you're when the needle kind of where it middles out yeah and then you get your weight i like the great um previously i worked with a wooden one and it would get full of, um, it would fill up with poop faster and straw. Um, so this way, this way, most of it falls through right away. And also, if you get a snow load in there, it's easier to take out. It's, it's pretty good.